Hello everyone, John Gallion here in the uh, Family Activity Center here at the Club at Hazen Tree and I'm joined today by one of my cart staff guys, Dan. And Dan's been playing golf for about four to six years. We're just beginning to work on his golf swing a little bit. Uh, but now that we've officially reached the off season, uh, we're gonna start touching more on body swing connection. And what I mean by that is a lot of folks come out this time of year, uh, it's cold, uh, the joints are stiff, uh, we just don't take the proper amount of time to stretch and get our lights turned on, so to speak. Okay, so what I'm going to do is if you have a few minutes before you get to the golf course, start the warm up and start turning the lights on before you get to the golf course. That way, by the time you hit a few golf balls, or if you don't have time to hit golf balls, you go to the first tee, your body is now turned on, engaged, and ready to do this athletic movement. Yes, it is an athletic movement, swinging the golf club. So we want to be turned on. So a couple of things real quick that we'll touch on the body and some things that you can begin to turn the lights on. And Dan, since this is a ground-oriented sport, first thing we talk about is just making some circles with the ankles. Most of you like to walk this time of year. Keep going on both sides, back and forth, do some circles there, eight to 10. So when you think about the connection of your body to the ground, your ankles are extremely vital, okay? Then the next would be just kind of some mini squats, arms out, just kind of give me like some three squat. You want to see that you can try to get the femur down to 90 degrees, so a little bit lower up. Eight to 10 of those, just kind of get the legs engaged because we need those for power, okay, and support. So eight or 10 of those. Now, Dan, I want you to take your right leg and I can help you balance. If not, we talked a little bit about taking that internal, external rotation of the hip that's needed for your golf swing. So right knee up, and then step over the imaginary fence. Down, now up over the fence, and then back over. About 10 times with each leg, so let's do the left at least once. Up, over the fence, and then back, and over. Now give me a few more mini squats, maybe five or 10. Okay, there we go. So we would continue to see now we've got the light started to turn on in the lower body. Now as we move up the chain, we're gonna just start stretching right to left. So just elongate this right side to that way. Kind of bounce a little bit. Make sure you breathe good eight to 10 times each side. Good, excellent. All right, now give me some rotational movement just like you would do in your golf swing. Excellent, excellent, good. Okay, next would be our forearms. So we want to get our wrist and hands, eight to 10 of these. Now again, I want, to, I want to emphasize, continue to do these while you're playing golf because as you get cold, temperatures come back down, you warm up, you cool off. So as you're cooling off, make sure you continue to do some of these things while you're playing, keep the lights on, okay? So Dan, now the next thing would be, you would get to the golf course, you would hit some golf balls and hopefully go play. Okay. If you have any questions about pre-warm up or anything to do with turning the lights on in the body, please feel free to come see me in a golf shop.